I just finished this dress by Teota Matoshi that cost almost 600 bucks. The question is, is it worth it? Internet trends, yes or pass? This dress consists of a lot of tulle, a lot of tulle, and a little bit more tulle, what seems to be a mesh cupped corset underneath, a very long flowy skirt, and some weird shoulder straps. First thing I need to figure out is how to make a decent cupped corset. The only thing that got a little bit close to it was the one that I made for the Taylor Swift dress, and even so, the floppage was real. Real! Real! I'm wearing it right now. I would show you if it was not a complete disaster. My boobs are liquid. They are everywhere. They're everywhere. Yeah. And this is the final corset. Now I have huge balls to place my boobs. I went to the all-knowing internet and I found a Royal Black Couture that makes the most amazing corsets. Ever. So I got her instructions. And even had it printed out. It's perfect. I'm in love with one of the methods she used. Let's see how that goes. A cut corset is very complicated to make and it's not supposed to be your first rodeo ever making a corset, but her idea is quite simple. You take as a base a corset pattern that you already have and that you are sure that fits you well. Then you recalculate the cup area. But what does that actually mean? In my case, I took the pattern for the 1915s corset I made directly from the sloper. And I downloaded the bra pattern that she recommended and that I will add in the description below. Then after placing all of the pieces next to each other, I was able to calculate by placing and sliding the bra cup pattern onto the corset pattern until I had the full curve. By the way, we're making this mostly on Twitch, so if you want to join us, Please do! I stream Tuesdays and Thursdays over on Twitch at 3 p.m. Central European time. And I don't know why I need to say it like that. It seems so fancy. It isn't. Central European time. Yeah. I think this will be my go-to cup corset thing for the future. <laughs> I lost the footage of the very ugly toile I made. It was radioactive green and it fit pretty well right from the get-go, which was very surprising. Very, very surprising. <laughs> I think I'm happy with the way the toile turned out. I got this power mesh a long time ago online. It is very stable. The idea is to make a double layered corset for maximum stability on the tatas. Seam allowances to the outside where the boning channels will go. So this thing doesn't poke my skin. The last thing I need is an itchy corset underneath all of that itchy tool. Oh god, Ooh, just do it. Thinking too much about it, then nothing will get done. I want a big seam allowance for the seams where I will add the boning channel. One cutting later. Oh, I barely had enough to cut four layers of all pieces. Very scary. So this right side's facing. One sewing later. Will my plan of sewing the channels on the outside of the corset were curbed by the fact that I only have white channels. So I was very careful just to trim the seam allowance and add the channel on top of that. The base is done. On the back, I have a huge seam allowance. Like half of this will have to go away. Because I calculated it wrong, apparently. But it's easier to tackle a bigger problem than a smaller one. Uh, words of wisdom. Now the part that I'm not looking forward to. Build the cups. I'm going to take the twi cups that are already done. I, I don't know what I did here. That happen on stream and make no sense when I look at it afterwards. Come on, get out of there. I destroyed it. Let's pretend nothing happened. We have two beautiful foamy cups that are not the right foam at all. I have to tell you that this mesh is so easy to work with. I thought I would have a really bad time, <laughs> but so far it's working pretty well. Boobs installed. This color is so weird. I don't really like it. <laughs> Gigantic. Oh, why are my tatas so big? <laughs> I think I'm not going to use metal boning for this one. So sure. What did you steal there? Uh -uh. What is this? No, it's a magnet. You're not allowed to play with magnets. You loco, cachorro. Cachorro loco. 
Maybe I should work with zip ties instead. I bought new ones and they are not as good as the old ones. Yes, the old ones are really thick and those are very, very wobbly and they were so freaking expensive. I bought two packages and I paid 50 bucks. Metal boning it is. Maybe I should not say that out loud, but one boning later. Ugh, seriously pissed right now. All the boning is cut and prepared to be inserted in the channel and turns out the channel is too narrow for this boning here, leaving me no other choice other than using the zip ties after all. <laughs> it's fine, it's to totally fine, totally fine. Another boning later. It looks better when I'm not wearing this underneath, but for YouTube purposes I need to put something not to be 100% naked on the internet. Because when I'm not wearing this underneath it goes, stays here where it's supposed to stay. The tattoos fit perfectly and this is also very cool. I wish I had more structure, but it's fine. The tatas are not going anywhere, which is great. They're not flopping forward. That was my huge problem. Yes! It worked! Now I just need to drape the tool dress on top of this. <laughs> oh god. I have a meshed curb. I have a mesh cupped corset. Finally! <gasps> now to prepare everything that will go on top of this. I have a headless fin on the table so I can drape it easier. I just need to stuff his boobs with some fabric to make it stable because Sven is tiny. He has tiny boobs. Hard boobs. Sven is looking good. This is the base tool, mint green. And this is the upper tool, also mint green. But with stars. They're so cute. And it stinks. You. I want a double layer of this on the base of the corset to hide a little bit of the collar underneath. How wide is our little Sven? I'm gonna cut 50 inches. One meter 30 approximately. Some of the stars are already falling off and I'm having a very hard strawberry dress I think there will be stars forever in this room. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, I'm gonna make one layer of stars only. I'll gather this like this. One ruffalo later. <laughs> It's snowing outside and I'm very confused. <laughs> what? So this is our beautiful draped over part. Over tie. What is this? <laughs> this skirt will be here in my natural way. Base stitch everything in place. Then I can cut it off and attach the skirt that I need to make today. Now a shout out to all my beautiful patrons. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. My Patreons chose this dress. I made a poll over there and they chose this one. If you want to support the channel, the Patreon link is in the description too. So I was thinking about maybe four panels for the skirt. So it's very ruffled. And then I will need eight to 16 panels for the ruffles on the bottom. And this is the part I am uh, most excited about because I love ruffling tools. And another question that's lingering in my head is like, will Tilta also block me like her sister did when I did the strawberry dress. I'm still blocked. Although I gave her credit for what she did and still she blocked me. I'm offended. I wonder if Tilta would do the same, but bitch is no angel because she ripped off someone as well. <laughs> she ripped off the fabric from the Oscar de la Renta dress. The shape is different, but the fabric is like 98% the same. At least I credit the peeps that I copy when I copy them. Yes, I'm still butthurt. Comes with the territory. Let's ruffalo all of the tool now. It's an ankle length skirt. I think the upper part ends right on the knee. Yeah, let's cut this nonsense. It doesn't matter. I honestly don't know what I hate most if it is ruffaloing tool or cutting tool panel. 65 it is. Two, three, four. Now the same with the base tool. I really like this one. It turned so pretty. <laughs> Install the skirt and the zipper. And we're done. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I got this thing online. Pretty good for working. Keeps my fingers stable. I can't move the part that is broken, but it allows me to work better than with the permanent bird flipping thing. <laughs> Sixty 
15 panels were necessary to make this. I feel also very fancy. Oh. Wrong side facing. The seam on the ruffles is on the outside. Excuse me, while I drowning totally. When drowning later, <gasps> the same thing that happened to the strawberry dress happened to this one as well. I thought that with double number of panels I would be able to cover everything, but apparently not. Half of the skirt is missing and I have no more fabric. We'll just like, take this all apart again. <laughs> Idiot sandwich! And there's absolutely no way I'm going to pick these seams apart. So I'll just cut it off. Re-ruffle and reattach. Another drowning later. Even with all the changes it was still not enough. So I have one panel of not starry fabric right in the back. But no one can really see it. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Flowy. I am in love with this. Oh my god! I totally understand why they're so expensive, but at the same time, I don't really understand why they're so expensive. <laughs> Two things I changed from the original is that I didn't install pockets. Pockets on a see-through dress. My cell phone will be floating here. I, I don't see the purpose. Although I love dress with pockets. I chose not to do that. So the original had some straps here. I tried making one, but it looked so awful. I just decided not to put it on. It was looking fine once I sewed it, but once I turned it inside out, it turned into this tape war. Awful. But I don't think I really miss it. Well, it would not do anything for the boob staying in place anyway. So I'll just go bare shoulder staying in place. Not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. I'm so happy. And have boobs of steel. This could be maybe a little tighter up here, but I. I think then it would start pressing on the chicken wings too much and it works pretty well. I dropped my shoes because I hate high heels. I really do. Is this dress worth all the amount of work I invested in this? I'd say yeah. Probably if you were a small company, I think it is the price that you would have to sell this for to make small profit or even break even Of course, there's a difference if you are making this per order or if you're making this in like bigger numbers All the prices change for me this dress cost this much. Um, I'm, I'm just in love with this corset like, I will make so many of this now that I figured out the shape and the way to make it stay. I will make a lot of cupped corsets. I really love Thank it. Thank you to Royal Black Couture for making a very extensive and complete explanation on how to make them. Without you, girl, I would have never, ever achieved this. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy these shenanigans, then check the one I put down here because I think you're going to like it. Ta-ta!